don't even have I don't even have Twitch chat open. Oh my god, panic! Ah! Hello, VOD viewers. Hello, people in chat that I cannot see yet. <laughs> don't worry, I'm sure I'm sure we didn't miss much. All right, what should we listen to? Let's see. All right. This is open. Okay, we're back. We're back to being ready now. Okay, okay. <clears throat> um, it is 1218. We probably have about uh, four-ish, five hours to stream. I have something else I got to do today. Uh, so I started a little late. But we'll get we'll get some games in. Let's see, what do we want to do? Probably still just support. I think that's good. Yeah, I didn't have time for warm up. I was doing some cooking prep today. I didn't have time. So hopefully we don't play like hot garbage game one. Hopefully we uh we do okay. I did get a new desk, guys. It arrived as soon as the last stream ended. Or I went to go eat and then it was done and it was here. And I don't know when it got delivered, but it got delivered. And I built it. But I haven't really had a chance to like test everything and get everything right. So let me know if any audio stuff is messed up. I still need to, uh, ooh, actually looking forward, literally looking forward. I need to put up a bunch of uh, sound panel stuff in front of me. I used to have a, used to being like for the three days I was here, I had a, a bookshelf in front with a bunch of soft toys, but I moved that. I need to put up some sound paneling to have less echo. I did my, get my carpet on the floor. Hopefully that helps a little. Okay, okay. Man, MMR's really gone up. Like the number for NA ranked. Is it all just double downs? Is it people coming back? What do we need? Elemental tokens. Strength. Strength, we could maybe play Treant Protector. A beast. We'll trade for Beast. I'm uninterested in playing any of these Beast heroes right now. Monkey King, maybe. Elemental. Not terribly interested. I'm still interested in the same heroes we were playing yesterday, so I don't know if any of those are happening. Here, what do we need for this? An elemental? Okay, let's just trade for that one. What's this one? Elemental and a go. Oh, that's a weaver for sure. Right there. I have mail. A secret admirer, a strength token. Well, thank you. I don't know who gave me that. Did I need that? I might. Oh, I did. Look at that. Fantastic. Any replays today? I was, I was thinking about it. I think we're far enough in the patch, and I've played slash watched kind of enough that we could probably start doing it. On the other hand, I haven't been playing, so I kind of want to just play. So I haven't decided. I figured we'd at least start with a game or two and then see how I feel. Maybe we'll do some replays after that. I got, what is it called? An E7 Plus from uh, Flexus Spot, not sponsored, unless they want to be. And they, uh, you know, want to get in on that. But I got a very large desktop. It is 71 inches by 35 inches. So tons of space on here. One, uh, so I got, I got a large desktop because I wanted to fit lights, all that stuff. Eventually I want to buy like a separate camera instead of a webcam that sits on the monitor. I wanted to buy a camera so that would have its own stand. So I wanted a big desktop to fit all of that. And as it moves up and down, I don't have to adjust. But something I did not consider, which you might be able to hear, I tried to find the best spot for it, but I might bump it a little bit more than I used to. 
until I figure out what to do. I might just have to buy something new. The mic arm I own cannot reach far enough. It used to be like hooked into the back of the desk. I was debating picking up the camera, but I'm gonna struggle to put it back because it's kind of in a finicky spot. Um, it used to hook to the back of the desk and then the arm would reach forward and that was that. It, it reached me and I could like push it in and out of the way. The desk is so peepo wide now, it doesn't make it far enough. So I had to move it around to be closer to me, but it means it's like closer to my right arm and I'm probably gonna bump it more, my bad, uh, when that happens, but. <clears throat> For now, it works. In the future, I might try to buy a different mic arm or something that's a little longer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was gonna trade for this elemental token. But I'm excited for it. We have the standing capability now, so when we do replays, which maybe we'll do some today, um, or maybe like casting and stuff like that, I'll be able to stand and it'll be cool. This outpost looks like it's been abandoned for years. When the Glody ruled the Red Desert, we used to have them, we used, we used them to guard our borders. It is a ruin now. Then why are we here in the middle of the night? To meet someone. Hello, Sorla. It's the Legion Commander. She's broken right now. We definitely want to recruit her. Meet Ma, that's funny. Guys, it's a sign. The game wants me to play Weaver support. You guys might be bored of it, but Dota, Dota says, Zach, you've got to. You need more Weaver support in your life. Your father and you made a desk together? Yo, that's a cool, that's a fun activity. Um, my dad likes doing carpentry stuff too. And I might have been more willing to do like buy the legs, get a regular tabletop, like find more customization. Because my dad has a bunch of that stuff, like saws, all the tools, the drills, uh, but now I live 20 hours away by car, so I I, I tried to go with uh, more customized or like already pre-made stuff, but actually, minor complaint, which isn't really a real complaint, but like minor, the tabletop has pre-drilled holes in it, but I suppose what I ordered is not usually matched with these legs. Like they are compatible, but you still just have to drill in your own holes, which was a little confusing, which is like, why are there holes, but they don't line up with the legs. And then I had to like, look it up and it's like, oh, I still have to do it myself, which was a little nerve wracking after spending the money on it. But I think it's fine. I think I might be like a few millimeters off on like the balancing, but it's probably okay. Wishing you how to build things out of wood. I know like the extreme basics, but nothing fancy. Like I know to measure twice, cut once. I know to like probably drill a little bit before like screwing things in if it's too, if it's too big of a nail, stuff like that. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know all the fancy tricks. Aramia, I did. I did not test it with my headphones yet. Uh, I'm trying to think where they are. Maybe we could test it. I removed a shit ton of lint from the headphone jack. So whether it worked or not, that was pretty satisfying. I don't know how to describe how much I removed, except like, you know, you know, styrofoam has like, it's made up of like little individual dots. I removed like two dots worth of lint, I swear. Um, obviously not like as condensed, but when I like pulled it out, poof, crazy. Um, from the USB-C port, not nearly as much. I removed a little. It didn't seem to quite help in terms of staying connected to the car. I think that one's a bit of a software plus, maybe like hardware issue, I don't know. But USB or uh, headphone jack, I definitely removed a bunch. It was very satisfying regardless if it works or not. Sorry, I'm just like messing with things on the desk. The screen's a little further away than usual. Hopefully that won't throw me through a loop. Things are just in like slightly different spots and we'll have to adjust. 
Would I play a Dota game standing up? I don't know, maybe. Hard support. Um, I feel like I have to play Witch Doctor one more time. I get, even though I know he's busted, I still just don't feel that drawn to him. But I think I have to play it at least one more time if it's not banned. Please, please pick it. Pick it. Enemy team, please pick it. 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 Don't you know how? Don't you know he's broken? Don't make me play Witch Doctor. Pick it. Pick it. Pick it. Pick it. What are you taking so long to decide for? Now we have to play Witch Doctor. Uh, we're maybe against Pudge. <clears throat> we'll see who the offlaner is. I might get a stick, but if not, I'm going to get a circlet to tank up. Looks like offlaner might be last pick, unless we have something weird here between these two. Take another look at the USB-C port. I'll try again. I didn't use... <clears throat> So my girlfriend was driving us back to the apartment uh, to pack, and I was looking around for like, oh, what can I fiddle with? I found one of those uh, twisty ties, and I removed the plastic part to use that metal. So it was slightly flimsy. So maybe I'll I'll try again later. I feel like I was doing a pretty good job of scraping and wasn't removing a ton. Like I removed some, just not a ton. Um, but I'm down to try again later. Um. I think I need to tank up. I don't know. There's a part of me that wants the magic stick because he will cast Void. But if I get hooked, I really need to be tanky enough to live. I think I'm going to get like Circlet Fairy Fire and we'll buy regen later. Let's go bottom, maybe. Wait, he took the other one. Oh shit, I should have gotten the stick actually then. It's nighttime right now, so he took... He took what's it called? Is he the offlaner? I think he was. Pudge was down here. The key. What's he doing here? AA was here too, so maybe he was just down here for first blood. Oh yeah, we should totally double down. We're playing Witch Doctor and we just got first blood. Let's go. Oh, guys, <laughs> this is such a good start. Four bounty runes, first blood. The guy was DC'd, probably didn't even plant it. I'm not saying it feels good and honorable to win this way, but I'm saying, boy, feels good to have doubled down here. <laughs> Let's get a second blood grenade, too. And I'll probably buy... Like a wand and maybe a mango and something. Pretty sure I can fight. <laughs> this is so worth my time, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's so good, guys. We're so fine. Oh shit, my courier.
I'm going to make an executive decision, guys. Forget... Forget the tangos. We're going to heal from Voodoo Festeration. And I just need mana. I'm going to try it. I don't know if it's good, but I'm doing it. I should have stacked, actually, instead of pushing up like that. I'm just gonna do it to do it. Lotuses? Oh, I'll get it, I'll get it. Oh shit, wrong button. I actually don't want this. Okay, thank goodness. All right, you don't always take that stun, but I mean, to get the kill like that, we're definitely doing it. Well done. Nice work. Bitch, doctor. Yes, indeed. A twisted path. We're gonna get arcane boots next. Let's get the sage's mask. Hmm, I'll probably get it gone for the water rune, actually. Never mind. Is TP is mid? Oh, he had no TP as well. I definitely should have gone for the water rune. Your mid tower's coming apart. <laughs> Let's go get him again, guys. Now, unfortunately, we had to take the stun, so my voodoo restoration is a little weak compared to where it usually would be. Two points in it would be a lot better. So we kind of need to get level four here. But which doctor is it? <laughs> what am I doing over here? I'm just kind of like killing some time while the clarity goes. I think I'll try to get him again, like as he pushes out. But it's really tough now because it's nighttime. Hmm. I guess we'll just sit around for the mid rune, actually. I should have walked over here to get that bounty, actually. Or, like, to get part of it. Ah, <sighs> I panicked, guys. I didn't do that right. So, first... I needed to I needed to wand fairy or wand lotus. I activated the heal, wand lotus, drop the maldic stun, like just do everything faster and she's probably dead. Look how low she got. I would have had that. Mm. Alright, he's fine. Let's go bottom. 
That guy's freaking level six. They're going for our wisdom. Oh shit, I was not paying attention. I'm glad he said that. I might still lose though. Which would be really embarrassing, because I definitely should have this. The n what? How did the neutral creep get that? Oh my god, the splash on me killed him. That's so sad. That's so sad. Oh shit. Oh, I don't have enough mana. Here we go. Okay, that is pretty cool, guys. I do not have much mana. If I had mana, she's dead. Good news, I have mana now. Ah, oh, shoot. I always forget when I walk by that thing. I don't think I got the double. Alright, we just need to make sure as we hit this, we're not getting pudge hooked or something. So I'm gonna step back into the right after we launch this. Uh, back into the left works, I guess. I guess I'll go get mid. I'll stack and go mid. While Dragonite's gone. He might come back by the time we're... uh there but whatever all right weaver can definitely do stacks i can do stacks guys the other fellas gonna save the top tower that's the way they're meaning to smash that bottom tower we're fine man you could have just run away We get this Lena kill. Oh my god, are we not gonna get this Lena kill? Sadness. What up, Lena? I'm back! Remember me? <laughs> Okay, I bought a casual fluffy hat just to not get killed. Um, to have more health. I'm now debating between Glimmer and Four Staff. Oh, a lot of money. 
Four staff is very good versus crippling fear. Mm, I think I should get that. Keep my Weaver alive. Weaver should be having a very good game. Oh, I got Pudge hooked. I see. I was really confused. I think she needs like one more tap to die from my Malady. No, I guess not. I can't believe she didn't die, actually. Oh, see, guys? I hit the mic. Sorry. I... I got confused because I saw the terrorize animation at the same time as I got hooked. So I thought, like, terrorize threw me in. And I was like, how is that even a thing? How's that... How's that possible? Ooh. We have issues. Okay, let me think. Do I sell the blood grenade or I sell the circlet? I think I sell the circlet, actually. And we backpack this until... Until we have the money, the space. Wait, which one? Okay, 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 yeah, yeah. Fluffy hat's more health, of course, of course. Actually, do I just need health? Swap in the Staff of Wizardry? That might be fine, actually. Coming. On my Your top towers are... well, Ready for your good Very fine. That top tower of yours is doing so good. The Luna, the Luna, go ahead. Where I bet you anything, the loot is right here. Oh, we can loot on the night soccer. I think it's okay. I know my ult got canceled pretty quickly there, but we got a little damage on the Luna. She's like absolutely worth the kill. So well, we we went to kill their carry and take their wisdom rune. Get there. The stalker ulti just stay together. I was thinking about buying another blood grenade, but we're reaching that point of slot efficiency stuff, so I should probably not. Let's see, 16 minutes. Maybe we just stack. I don't know if I feel good enough to go for a rune. I think I'll just die. about to do my own stacks guys I'm willing to put that there because of the stacks you just gotta blink there are stacks here Why 
you cancel. I didn't. Do you have range? Oh, it's. I see, they changed. Because I real? really don't think we should be fighting at night. It's gonna be an illusion. I don't think my Maledict hit that though. Given this, yes. Alright, we're definitely at the point of slot constriction. I think it's time to consume this Gree Gree as soon as we have enough money for the shard with it. Although, won't that be funny? Consume this for a new slot to then not have anything to put in that slot. Because I'm buying something that doesn't need a slot. How humorous. Five. Okay, we need like another 100, 200 gold. Back up, back up, back. I'm going to farm triangle. You got whatever top rune is. Are we not all just absorbing this XP? I should leave. Let me come over here. Pupil's Gift to tank up might be really good. Otherwise, Eye of the Vizier. It's like not bad this game. Just have further cast range. Oh, this thing about neutral items almost missed the stack. This is really nice for keeping W going, but it doesn't really matter if we get burst to death, so. Gonna get Pupil's Gift. I guess we wait for him to get Gleipnir. Ah, oh, man. Got killed by that before we could even press him. Back, back, back. Maybe we would have lived with the blood grenade properly in there. Amplified damage, quite unfortunate. Kill. I'm regretting a little bit this force staff instead of glimmer, but I, I still think actually force staff is correct, so I just gotta be more careful, I think. I have nine of the kills, lol. All right, 21 minute runes. I think we shove this out. My cores aren't here, so.
I should have maybe done the stack before doing this. Oops. Why does she always have illusions? What is this? They probably saw me do that. Well, maybe Night Stalker's daytime vision so bad he didn't see it. Back, 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 get out, get out, get out. Disability. bait my courier guys. I think they're smoked around here. By my bones. Hmm, maybe not. Take it quick, take it quick, take it quick. No, take the tormentor, take it. Bro, is he even? Okay. Thought Weaver was gonna die doing that. We can fight bottom. The Night Stalker ulti is running out. Try and time it with the Spirit Breaker respawning. Of course, our Blink DK is not here though. Let's go. Their vision. This is a really weird observer. It's because just the way the fight broke out, I like kind of panic placed it. It's really not that good. Very it is fine. nighttime, so. Man, this guy's so bad. Doing that far forward. I think 
that fight's pretty. I was trying to press Voodoo. I was trying to like time it to the very end to get him like as far under the tower as possible, but maybe I should have just uh, maledicted, charge, hope we get a return kill or something. My team's kind of falling apart here. I think we were in a really good spot and then they're kind of tilting out. All right, I need everyone to relax so we can still win. It's fine, guys. It's fine. This is NA. They'll throw. I gotta pull them together, because we doubled down. We have a bunch of double downs, so I need... Let's not tilt lose this. <laughs> I gotta remind them what's on the line here to keep it... To keep it together. If he can get out, that's really good. We need to place better wards for my team. They're taking some bad fights. I'm gonna go place one here. This is not really that much better, but we gotta get something down. Okay, so. Looks like they're gonna try to push tier two. Need wards, we have no vision. There's no night sucker all, let's go. They're rushing. Board here, they're gonna run at the tower. We can try and take them. On my round. Guess I don't mind trying, but here I come. <laughs> Disengage. This is not a fight anymore. Yes, it is. All right, that went better than expected, honestly. Oh, I did not glimmer fast enough. I think I've had like half my ults cancelled by Luna. <laughs> that tower of yours ain't doing so good. Alright. I'm just saying guys, like Man, both these guys, they gotta calm down. Dragonite. Let's talk about positioning. He's got seven death. Weaver could get a toxic you know like he's got some silly deaths too and he had like a totally free lane so his deaths are even more meaningful than dragonites so they both gotta calm down here Needs a little help. Your mid -tower's in a bit of a bind. Go on, kid. Your mid -tower's gone. to maledict first, but I was just... Uh-oh. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? 
All right, we got the Night Stalker. I'd say we did our part. I also forgot I had this. I could have pushed him away. Who's that? Thank you. Whoa, whoa. Welcome back. Thank you. Joy K, thank you very much. Yeah, nice job, Spoop. I think this Lena's gonna bot me. Okay, I feel like I'm being baited now that they just fortified that. Why'd they fortify that? That's so weird. and just yules the night stalker isn't that bkb he's going fire try to ward here Forward. actually we'll ward further up I can't believe I got hooked like that. Should I fight back? I don't have a TP though. I need to buy auras for my team. I could buy a pipe. Is that an issue? It's a ton of magic damage from these guys. Probably be pretty good for my team. It's a little redundant on me, but... I think I'm going to. I think between Lena and Luna, then we got a Night Stalker, or sorry, an AA Pudge, and the Vortex, like, increasing damage. I think it might be worth it. We'll try it. This might be a little weird. Well, it's definitely a little weird, but it's being done. Ags. Tempting, but so many of our alts are being canceled anyways. Plus they have like AOE silence uh, and like everyone has a way to cancel almost. So that's kind of why I'm leaning. away from it a bit. Hey, take it already. Whoa, who's that? Thank you. Whoa, whoa. Notice me, Ward Senpei. Right Luna's gonna be coming on the side, careful. Luna all they wasted Luna all I think we place that observer right before that fight, guys. Oh, stay, 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 stay. 
I can just he can charge it. back. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna buy out this pipe, which may you actually be a bad right idea. Now. They're all dead. Okay, bro. Roche could respawn. I maybe should have saved buyback for the Roche. And there's still a ward over there, by the way. Likely gonna smoke out here. Can we get? With vim and vigor. Very fine. Yes, indeed. Uh, we don't have to push into new places, we have... I don't know if I cast Maldic. I think I did, okay. Why? How did they just go on me when I'm standing there smoked? That's crazy. Pushing the wave in, take their axe, then go rush. Any ideas on why they just went straight at me while I was standing there smoked? Uh, they were probably just walking that way. And then Night Stalker saw it. I don't know, that's my guess. I bought this smoke, this dust, and then have not used it, like, at all. I feel like we actually could have just gone for the end there, maybe. Eh, maybe it's not worth it. He doesn't have much time on corrosive form left. Go rush, go rush. They respond too soon and the loop is already up. Go rush. Yes. What do we buy now? Now do we get eggs? Hmm. Go Scepter could be good. It's a lot of defensive items. I feel like I got all this magic resistance to then like counter it with my own ghost up there. <laughs> I don't know, that might still be okay. Oh, even more magic resistance, guys. I cannot be stopped. Ninja gear might be good just to stay alive, just to like stay out of sight from this Night Stalker who keeps running at us. Um. Mana could be good. Buy my bones. I think I'm gonna get a BKB next and then an Axe. So that I'm a real threat and that the only way they can stop me is through Pudge Alt, which is not worth. Well, I guess it's kind of worth, but like, you know, is it? Okay, sick. I'll go mid. Oh, I didn't notice my courier was almost here. I should have had it. Uh... Showed him, but good. Hmm. All right, I'll do it. I can't heal him, but I can redirect damage to me. I am magic damage immune, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna have three magic resist items and a BKV. I cannot be killed with magic. <laughs> Alright, 
just wait out here until we have dragon form. Night Stalker's up too, so try to get a pick off first. We can just step out of Luna for a second. See, we did not do that. After this Rax, we should just back off, reset, then come bottom. I don't know. It's like super extended fight for what? Uh, hope it's working. Let's get her go. pretty good I'm feeling better guys after my team was tilting out this might be we might be in a good spot two racks now this is a lineup that can still win like if we throw on a fight Luna walks it down kills this tower and then if we don't have fortify she'll just end so I'm not I'm not like we're not resting easy yet I'm not sure about this whole satanic versus AA thing. I know we can wait for the AA blast to end, but... Did I miss someone who's here? Who is this? Oh, nice doctor. Where is he? Seriously weird. This guy just keeps jumping straight at me. Maybe it needs to become... Guys, when you get Night Stalker queued and he has this kind of thing on him, or maybe like in Mars Arena, maybe it, become, it needs to become the norm that you just start pinging where you are, you know? Or do the pings not show up either? That would be amazing coding. I won't lie, that was unexpected. We're probably okay to just wait for Spirit Breaker to be up. Oh my god, six lotuses, lol. I hate that you can't lock him anymore. I have him pre-muted as well. He's like uh, all, all chat muted for toxic sp uh, whatever. Every game he goes into, everyone has He's up. We're good. Yes. Yes, is With 
You know what? I'm swapping this in. Who cares? We'll use sentries. Forget dust. This is worth more. We probably don't want to do this at night, right? <laughs> This one will expire soon, so that's why I'm placing this. I know it overlaps a lot. I can't believe this one. Oh, actually, that's a pretty cool spot. I think that must. This is Dark Willows. It's definitely. Oh, wait. Oh, these trees must have been broken earlier, and I placed it. I was like, oh, that's really interesting. That, like, it's unlikely to get dewarded by the enemy, but scouts the entrance. That's, like, really cool. I'm smarter than I thought. I think there's usually a tree here preventing this placement. I can't believe they're not both already muted. Oh, don't mute me. Don't think trees will respawn next to a ward. It depends how close. They won't overlap, but they can spawn. They can spawn nearby. Don't even know, guys. How do I keep building all active items? This is just the meta now. Endless active items. I'm gonna give this to, what's her name, Dark Willow. Take this instead of the wand. Yes. The spell is cast. Yes, indeed. I don't have slots because I got my BKB. Oh, there's an Ags in here, right? What are the odds I get to have it? Mine's actually the best that's left. Weaver carry doesn't usually take his. Ah, oh, damn, it's gonna be a refresher now. Nuts! This was supposed to be mine! I'm actually so close to 25. I should go find something to farm. I should get the small camp. What is it? What is even my 25 talent? Voodoo damage. Let's go. Voodoo damage. This is probably not good compared to the death ward. I can't tell if this is just the usual 60 damage or is he being affected by the max HP damage.
What if someone stole my four staff right there? What? I don't want the refresher. I want the rope shots, right, pin. Let's go in. <laughs> let's take my cat to an appointment. On the A or the Lena, if you can. All right. I guess I'm just gonna like walk in there with refresher. Also, don't don't chase to the fountain because they'll get fountain hooks. Just hit the towers. I didn't even remember to. Uh... KB first. Should I refresh her? <laughs> Is it worth it? Oh, I don't have enough mana. Otherwise, I think I win this one on one. Hit it with me. I didn't even notice how low it was. I love DK hanging. I, I never notice the high fives. I always miss it. Alex, yo, what's up? I'm sorry. I didn't notice you. My bad. <laughs> how you doing, man? I don't even know if you're still around, but thank Whoa, you. Who's that? Thank you. Whoa, whoa. Hope Jimmy, you thank nice you as well. Day, smiley face. I have been having a nice day. A little busy, but all good. Uh, ba -ba -ba. That was a double down win, which was quickly snowballing into a double down loss. Um, I think we definitely could have won. See, this is the one of those cases where I feel like Weaver and Dragonite are probably fine on their own individually, but like... There was some tilt, and I think Weaver started it. They started flaming Dragonite. And then it just, like, they started fighting, which, like, if just one of them can cut that off, like, Weaver doesn't have to start flaming, or Dragonite just can just ignore and mute, then the game goes better. And I'm glad we spoke up, because I think if we didn't, if we didn't say anything, I think these guys started to communicate more once I was like, everyone shut up, start playing, you know? I think... I think that uh, that helps set us back on course, unironically. I thought we'd be richer, actually. I guess I am really rich. I'm richer than Night Stalker, but Weaver's farm is not that much higher than a typical, like, good carry lane, which I thought we dumpstered that lane, so I thought he'd be even higher, but... Maybe I was picking up all the kills. I think I was. I was like nine something at the start. What was our final kill? 13, nine, and 26, guys. Yeah, Voodoo Festoration is a hell of a facet. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce this track. It is by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, though. Abendemfindung K523 <laughs> All right. I now that we've played two Witch Doctor games, I don't feel the need to play anymore. Jupiter, what is that? Can you guys hear him? He's going off. Jupiter, come here. Come here. Where are you at? 
So how do you play the early lane? Do you go in level two? Yeah, I'd say level one. <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Once you, uh, turning on the ability has an activation cost. Um, yeah, 35 mana to start it and then eight mana per second. So you don't want to use it repeatedly. So at level one, kind of wait for the off lane or the four support to be too far up and you know you can run them down for a little bit. Or maybe a couple creeps are getting low so you can pop it to secure the range creep and zone them from a deny or two. Uh, and just keep it going for a little bit. But you just use it sparingly at the start. And then at level two, once you have Maledict, you look for a Maledict into run them down with Voodoo plus a Blood Grenade and right clicks. And even if you don't kill them, it's super strong. And it'll buy you time till you're level three. Once you're level three and you get your second point in Voodoo Restoration, it's more expensive, so it's tough, but it's like, it's so strong. I don't know. It's crazy. A damage level one. I mean, let's do the, let's do the math. So it's 30 damage. Um, Thirty damage per second, and let's let's say five seconds. So in five seconds, we're doing one hundred fifty damage, and it's costing us forty plus thirty five mana. So what did I just say? Uh, one hundred and fifty damage for seventy five mana. That's pretty insane. And the longer you keep it on, the better that is, because the upfront cost is like the expensive part, the thirty five mana. So let's say you run them down for 10 seconds, which is actually a little impractical. That's that's much longer than you typically you would typically run someone down for, but that would still be only 115 mana. So 115 mana is like a normal spell for most people. Like you're playing against what? Lich. Lich hits you with Frost Blast, right? It's like 110 mana. You know, it's very similar to a lot of other nukes. And this is going to do 300 damage. And it's going to heal you 150. And it's AoE. Which means maybe you killed some creeps. But you could have possibly killed two heroes. Or like been damaging two heroes. So the damage value is crazy. I never really like sat down and did the math fully. I knew it was like good, but not uh, how much. So let's say like at 40, like let's say level two. So now it's 40 damage. Let's do the five seconds. I think five seconds run down is more practical. So for five seconds of running them down, that's 200 damage and 100 heal. And then it's 40 plus uh, 60. So 100 mana. For 100 mana, five seconds of voodoo restoration on. 200 damage, 100 heal. It's, it's really effective. And then, like, plus Maldict. Is it more optimal to ban only one hero? No. I just... I think Witch Doctor is going to be crazy to play against. Actually, you're right. I haven't played against it yet, so I do want to experience it. So let's take him off. Um, but no, if it picks one of these other ones, it just doesn't ban anything. Is Invoker a better support? I don't think so. He's probably still a good core hero because his innate ability is XP on denies, isn't it? Yeah, you probably want you probably want to be a core. I mean, you can focus on denies as a support, but there's other things going on. Like I'd say, if you have ten denies as a support, that's like really impressive most of the time by the end of the laning stage. But for but for mid, 10 denies could be as early as, like, I don't know, two minutes. Well, I can't think, when does Invoker stomp a lane that hard? Not usually. But, um, I mean, you can pick up way more denies as a mid laner.
Maybe they need to rework some of these around a little bit. I don't know. Just the way they go together is weird in my mind. I'm not an invoker mid player. I used to be. I'm pretty out of it. But it's just so interesting because Quas is damage per second. I am imagining it doesn't stack. Like, let's say Quas Wex. You're doing a Quas Wex build. You have a bunch of attack speed, but then the other points in Quas, like, what's the point of attacking faster? Because <laughs> you're, not, you're not getting more damage per second. And then Exort is like... Like, you'd have to go Wex Exort for that to make sense. And that's... Yeah, later, like, mid to late game, I guess that's what you're maxing, but... In the lane, it's kind of funny. Maybe they should swap this. Swap the lifesteal and the damage per second. Make it so, like, per orb of Quas is the is the damage over time, and then this is, like, the lifesteal on hit. I think that makes more sense together. It would be cool. I wouldn't mind, maybe not a 100% ban, but like, I, I think the issue with giving a 100% ban is that certain heroes are really hated by a lot of people, and you would pretty much just never see a certain hero anymore, such as Pudge or Tinker or, or Anti-Mage. And although I know it can be like really frustrating, there's people who genuinely love those heroes and who are good with them, right? And they would just never, ever get to play their hero, so... I don't think there should be a way to 100% ban someone, but I kind of wouldn't mind if it was like increasing odds, like up to 50% ban if you only if you only have one or something. That'd be kind of interesting. But I wonder what the math works out to be if like that many people can have a hero 50% banned, if you would still reach a similar point of like Tinker, Pudge, those type heroes always gone. 100% ban can be exploited for counterpick. That too. Uh, like say you're a Medusa spammer and you just like always remove anti-mage or phantom lancer, like whoever's good at the current patch. Been seeing Oracle get banned way more now. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gained some popularity against Darkseer. I think that's a big part of it. Oh, I forgot to pick our contract. I think I would have gotten that. All right, let's just do that. Strong medicine. Road to 6.5k. It's back. It's real. I'm a little tired, so I don't think I'm playing the best. But lately, I feel like I've been... If we're playing the good heroes that we understand, I've been feeling pretty good about where I'm at. Obviously, taking a huge break kind of throws that through a loop a little bit, but I feel like we could gain MMR if that was our goal. When are we going to see some ET5 with the second facet? Um, I need to get bored with these heroes. Uh, I'm bored of Witch Doctor. Take him out. But I think right now Clockwork and Weaver are really fun. I need to, like, play them a bunch, get sick of it, and then it's, like, time to learn new stuff. And then that's when E.T. would come out. Hello, Jupiter. You want to say hi? The cat cam's not set up, so you have to come over here. Come here. Come here. Where are you going? Come here. Come here. I don't know where the cat cam is. It's in a box somewhere. I gotta go. I gotta go. Like dig it up and find it.
I think there's some core heroes I would also be interested in trying. This is why our MMR flatlines for a bit, though, when we get tempted to play cores. This is the problem with casting. I get too excited. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I want to do that. And then I start doing it. I'm like, oh, wait, I don't know how to play carry. Oh, good. <laughs> but I, I really want to play like Venge carry or Weaver carry. Uh, who else? I'm I'm so tempted by Tinker mid. It seems so fun with the arcane blink just hopping around everywhere. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. But I want to. Yeah, I think clock's good. I think uh, right now. Here, I've been meaning to do. We can adjust this a little bit. So this is uh this is position five, right? So uh witch doctor, A tier. Um let's bump some of these guys down a little bit. I think Man, who else goes up in the S tier with it? It might be Witch Doctor, like on his own. Where's Weaver? These five, I think, are the best in my mind in general right now who else i think enchantress is still pretty solid oh shadow demon's pretty good disruptor i think's down a little bit i think venge is interesting snaps interesting Hmm, maybe Abaddon should drop. I have not been seeing him very much. Warlock in pub games is high. Pro matches still a little on the lower end. I think Nature's is down here, sadly. He is not a good position five right now. I think Ogre is going up a bit. I don't know where Chen's at. I think Lich is pretty good. I'm going to put him in B tier. I think Marana B tier, maybe. I haven't seen much AAs lately. I think Enigma has a good win rate in high pubs. I don't know about like lower ranked pubs where he would fall. Oh, we never tried Alk support either. Venno still cracked? I think so. For pubs. For pub games, I might swap like Weaver and Venno because I think Venno 5 is probably easier to execute and less tilting for your teammates than Weaver. I'm This is like some mix of pub versus pro tier list. I think I need to make the pro tier list first for my own casting work and then make a second copy, switch it up for pubs. Mm hmm Like, I don't think Shadow Demon is very good in pubs. I would move him down. And, like, Oracle, hit or miss. I think Oracle is much better at high-level games. Picked as a counter to Darkseer, which maybe people aren't even spamming Darkseer as you get further away from the meta. Um, but that the ability to save a hero goes a long way in lower-ranked games where there's, like, insane dives all the time. I'm surprised that Undying's not a little bit more popular with how many strength offlaners there are right now. Who disturbs the dead? His facet seems okay. Like support facet. Ceaseless Dirge is maybe. Maybe a little. I don't know. It's like good, but 480 is like such a long time as well. SS still A tier? I don't know yet. I haven't really seen him much. I still think having the facets like, or the innate ability is pretty nice. He probably has dropped, but I haven't seen it myself yet. So I'm just keeping him here for now. But he might... Yeah, he maybe goes down. Oh, Phoenix. Phoenix is S tier, too. How could I forget? 
I don't know. I don't know which of these heroes drops down. I think Witch Doctor is probably above everyone right now. But then some combination of these heroes. The thing is, is like, part of the reason that Weaver and Dark Willow are really good is the flex. Same as like Phoenix. Although Phoenix 5 is more standard. But like, I saw Supreme play a Phoenix mid for one team. That's crazy. Uh, Weaver being able to play carry or either support role makes him really good. But like, in terms of just straight up fives, Voodoo Festeration is pretty crazy. And maybe he's best. Silencer and Jakiro feel like they should move up as well. I don't know. I, I think, probably depends on your team. Lion seems like on the shorter end of the stick lately. Lion. I don't know. I thought this would be cool. It seems to have dropped off. I have not seen it since like people first started playing with it. I haven't really seen it, so I don't actually know. Let's look at position fours. Position fours, who would I put up here? I would put Weaver. Dark Willow. Muerta goes up a little bit. Clockwork. I think Tiny is pretty good, although it just got nerfed. Still think it's pretty solid. Maybe B tier at least. Zeus 4 just got nerfed. I don't think it's as good. Where did it go? I just accidentally deleted him. I think Skywrath is like okay. I don't I have not been seeing techies. I think his attack range nerf hurt a lot. I saw some people try Marcy. Pugna 4, I don't know how I feel about right now. I kind of leaning away from it. I think I would move Lion down too. Just not seeing the hero. Doom 4, haven't seen. Centaur 4, I'm going to take them out for now. Enigma is a four I haven't seen in a while. I feel like Pudge maybe should go up a little bit. I think this is a pretty solid Pudge patch. But I actually, I think Core Pudge is better. But as far as like support Pudge goes, it's probably decent. If you can hit your hook. I don't know where to put it though. Um, I don't really mind when cores become supports or vice versa. I understand why some people don't, and I think it's fair. But I, I like the, the diversity and the mix up, so I'm up for it. Lich is underrated as a four. I don't think I've seen it. Yeah, I can't think of... Can't think of the last time I saw Lich 4. I'm open to it. When people play it in pubs, I think it's like, okay, sure, go for it. I don't know if I've seen it myself very much. Actually, one of my... There's no way... There's no way Wyvern's above Tiny. Grimstroke. I forgot about Grimstroke. We were having a lot of fun with the uh, Stroke of Fate talent. And then, then I took a break and I forgot about it. Get him back in here. Yeah. I hope they buff him. Make Fine Art better. Give me like five more damage. 
Witch Doctor 4. You know, I haven't seen it, but it probably is broken. Just off of Voodoo Festeration being too good. Let's throw him in the A tier for now, but I actually, I haven't seen him played as a position four. He's usually banned, so. But I, I bet he's broken. He probably is still like S tier position four as well. Yeah, Grimstroke's a really cool hero. I think I think if you use fine art, I think if you use fine art, um, Grimstroke's laning stage is actually pretty strong in pubs. If you stack the camps a lot and then you like curve through it, you can do insane nukes. But you're probably gonna shove the lane a little bit. Oops. But I think it's pretty good. But I understand why people want Instigate. It's part of the utility of the hero. I suck at skill shots. Same, same. Not having the amp manual E trigger sucks. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a trade-off, though, of, like... Grimstroke used to be good without the manual trigger. And so I think there's probably a way for it to be good again that way. But that... I mean, he's kind of a different hero since then. But that's why it's like, if Fine Art can give him enough of a boost through the laning stage, maybe you don't need the manual trigger. Because you're just doing like insane damage or something. I mean, I'm I'm up for them to buff him a little bit, and then I play him. Let's do it. Oh, I have like no room. Hmm. I'm gonna have to figure out where I want to move this stuff. Because the desk is larger, some of the wires are not quite long enough. So I am pretty at the edge. Oh, you know what? We should be standing while we're queuing for games. Look at this, guys. Look, the desk is moving. I'm still sitting, but the desk is moving. Insane. Wowee. Is this the right height? Where am I relative to the camera? Maybe the desk should be a little higher. Or maybe I'd have to adjust the camera to like aim a little higher. I was feeling a little sleepy. Is Weaver that strong right now? I think so. I think free Geminate attack is ridiculous. It's uh, way too good. I think the first level needs to have like negative bonus damage to it. Or they're gonna, what they're gonna do instead is they're gonna nerf some other ability a lot and it's gonna kind of kill the hero, like the hero's typical identity. I don't know, I'll see what they do. But I feel that Geminate as an innate ability is is simply too powerful for support weaver and that is what is making him broken especially because he can be core or support yeah standing desk i just got it uh fixed it up monday night tuesday morning um yeah it's just too strong geminate plus shikuchi plus swarm all your abilities at level two, plus a blood grenade. So many people are dead. Or maybe he's a carry, as we had in our last game, right? It's just too... At the pro level, I think it's just too much to deal with. It's such a, pa a hassle. One-shot quarters as a ranged hero. Yeah, yeah. It's like tons of useful stuff. You've got Shikuchi too. I can't believe I don't have his uh, taunt. I do. It just isn't. It just isn't equipped. What the heck? I almost griefed myself without a taunt. Do you have any other cool stuff that's not equipped? I used to have these. I think I sold them. Um, I think that makes the most sense. Got the gold antennas. Did he have another gold item? Guess not.
Weaver strong all in at level one with Swarm. Uh, you wouldn't want to take Swarm level one. Shikuchi, Shikuchi's really important in terms of you staying alive and positioning at the early levels. And by early levels, I also specifically mean level one. You're the, after Medusa, you and Drow are the lowest heroes, are the lowest base strength heroes. So this is your starting HP. So like two spells plus auto attacks will kill you. So it's it's pretty much critical to be able to disjoint with Shikuchi and to to like get free hits and then like Shikuchi through, do damage, not take damage. That's like a key part of Weaver. So you can't, I don't think you can skip it for Shikuchi, or sorry, for the Swarm. And if you all in with the Swarm, it's a little hard because the Swarm... The swarm uh, ticks up, right? So if they're not feeling pressured to run away and they can just stand still and hit the swarm, then it's, it doesn't really do much damage and they get gold. And it's 110 mana and a 44 second cooldown. So it's kind of better to start with Shikuchi for all the reasons we said, but then you can whittle them down, get them low. And then when you commit the swarm at level two, now they're low. So if they're standing still to kill the bugs, you're maybe killing them. So then they have to run which then means the bug is doing more damage, which means maybe you're killing them anyways. Uh, so it puts a lot of pressure on them in those situations. And that's usually why like um, going level one Shikuchi so that you have Shikuchi plus Geminate attack, then at level two, you take the swarm, that, that tends to just work out better. Oh yeah, you're also like really slow, 275 move speed. Uh, Weaver didn't even change in 7.36b, so yeah, still still S tier. I think maybe Witch Doctor's in here, but we just haven't seen it. I think Dark Willow is S tier. I think the Brambles are too good. I don't know who else I want to put in here for position four, but I feel very strongly about Weaver and Dark Willow. I think I would personally put Clockwork in there. I don't think the pros agree, but I think in pub games, Clockwork... He just gives you what you need with a really, like the power cogs are really good. And a lot of people just don't play around it correctly. So you can just knock people into power cogs and surprise them. I think like every game of clockwork we've played, we get at least one kill off of bouncing people off power cogs and getting way more damage than we should. If not multiple kills. Like I think our most recent clockwork game, I'm apparently not very good at clockwork, but we're getting better. I think we killed like our lane opponents. Was it this one? Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's the one before. Oh yeah, yeah. We ended up losing this game, but we killed like Monkey King and the Omni Knight a bunch in the lane off of Clockwork Cogs. There's a bug that's been unequipping taunts. Those are the most important part. Didn't Bramble get nerfed? Only a little bit, in a way that I think is, wow, apparently I am awful with her. I used to be much better. Apparently, I want a real downward spiral. <laughs> um, they just reduced the the time the, the Bramble exists. I just don't think that matters. Like, no spell lamp is like whatever to me. I didn't even know what her facet was or her innate ability is. Who even cares? It's just the fact that more brambles spawn. And brambles... Like, if you hit more than one bramble per cast, it's crazy. And the fact that... Uh, the most likely time you're trying to hit brambles is the first few seconds of brambles. And that's why I think the fact that it goes down to 6.5 seconds or whatever it is, is fine. Six seconds. Like, it's it's a nerf, but it's whatever. No Omni Knight. Uh, I don't think I've seen position four Omni Knight. Position five Omni Knight, I have not tried nor seen myself. How is he doing? Looks like he's still pretty unpopular. Whenever Omni Knight's abilities deal damage to an enemy hero, Omni Knight gains heal over five seconds. 
Hmm. How much damage do we do? So if you hit two heroes, you're getting more, right? Might be time to sit again. Although I gotta say, standing in between the game was very nice. We'll have to do that more. <clears throat> Hard support. Natures. Okay. Damn it. We were talking about talking about Grimstroke. Should we do it? Fine art. Ten seconds to go. Fine art in the laning stage. Lion Venge. I think both of them cast enough spells that a stick is probably fine. Let's hover it and see. Mars. If we get people low with the fine art spam, we could definitely go for a kill. Oh, wait, I'm position five. I almost screwed that up. I'm position four. Uh, hmm. I wish I'd pick someone else than Grimstroke. The whole reason I picked Grimstroke is because I was thinking I was position four. And I was like, oh yeah, we can fine art spam without screwing over the laning stage. Ah, uh, Drow. Well, at least we are, we're getting a uh, fine art. So it's not the end of the world, but Gr Drow Grimstroke is like such a meh lane. At least it's versus Slardar. So our carry counters the off lane. So we'll have that going for us. We're gonna have to build armor for the team. I think I might go first item Solar Crest or Arcane Boot Solar Crest. I think we're just gonna sit behind the drow. I'll paint this world as I see fit. Hmm. At last. Everybody gets in. It was always so. The bag didn't even exist before I arrived. Nothing wasted. I'm gonna unblock my small camp. I don't care about the hard camp, in theory, I think, because of fine art. That's my goal, is to not care about it. That's what we're testing. Might be wrong about it, but <laughs> that's, a, that's a separate issue. What? All right. Fine art's a little buggy, guys. Stroke of fate, I mean. Which I guess is fine art. Blush track, blush track. I think I missed the left track with that.
I didn't even fine art that one. I just like shot it in a straight line. <laughs> If she's going to block my small camp, I'm still going to block hers, even though I want to use it, like we were talking about. I, I still... I want both camps to be available. I don't want, like, she gets it, I don't. All right. I did not go to block their camp. And I think, yeah, she used a ward to block mine, so that kind of sucks. Ah, I meant to get the blood grenade off. Last arrow hit, nice. Do you want to drop us health? Oh, try and get the fame in it. I'm gonna try and get the fame in it, Lotus. So can we play on the left side after this? Not landing for you. Hmm? Going. Can we play on the left side? Can we play on the left side for the Lotus? Nature's, Nature's. So? Whatever. No. I mean, you can have that. You can have that. All right. Okay. We gave we gave enough time to react. To... No man. Bro. Lady said play on the left side with me. I don't know why you just didn't listen to me, bro. I was actually retarded. I lost, like, all my resources and you died. You didn't want to play on the left side. Going. Look out. Moving. Ah, oh, I was trying to block that camp. Okay, I, I get it, I get it. Yeah, I have no man, I can't help you, bro. I can get the fame midnight lotus soon. Help me. I'm just gonna stack this. No. No, I will. I will. Bro, pull, please, please. All right. Thank you. What? How come my thing got cancelled? I must have misclicked, I guess.
didn't get the courier, guys. That's so sad. Oh, we missed. Damn, he sidestepped us. All right, a lot's been going on, so I didn't get to say it, but I wanted to stack this camp, and he should have just done this pull. And then I would have stacked into this. I could have, I was trying, I was thinking about saying it, but then he started flaming over it before I even like got to that point. We haven't used this as much as I would want to, guys. It's been sad. As expected. I insist. Nothing wasted. Got a feeling things are gonna pick up real soon. I'm sad I missed that blood grenade because I would have killed the Slardar, but I also now, I don't have my blood grenade. So it's just a total loss. Just off. We're not using Inkswell, or sorry, Stroke of Fate the way I wanted to. Uh, that fight kind of worked out, I guess. This unlucky Leshrac had a haste rune. Since he TP'd in, I feel like I also need to TP in to try to like... Try to help with a 10 minute rune here. I want to get there to defend the wave, but it's pretty risky. Alright, they're letting me come through, so we're going to be able to... I should time that a little better. Oh, 
angle was a little off. Oh shit, guys. Oh shit. in the corrosive haze. Steady gray. Your mid tower's coming apart. Well, ain't this a treat? So we begin. Nothing wasted. Yeah. Oh, I was trying to blood grenade there. Oh, the neutrals almost got him. That was scary. Hi, Jupiter. <laughs> come over here, Jupiter. Come here, come here. Come here. You're so grumpy, but you're standing so far away. Unburdened. I'll save for the arcane booster. Your top tower's getting all this banged. Way. I see where this goes. 13, 19, 14 minute wisdom rune, maybe a stack coming up. Um, you kind of see the downside of Stroke of Fate is that if we don't get what we want out of the lane, it's pretty awkward. And I, I actually meant to be position four, which would have made this easier to spam in the laning stage. Position five, I think is like awkward to use without shoving out the lane, which is why I was like careful with it. But in the end, I feel like I got nothing out of it. Um. But also, I think, like, the lane combo itself is hard. All right, carry on. I paint What's happening? I guess we'll just get 14 minute wisdom rune because she's she's there. Didn't hit this creep. No miss. Let's go. Kind of need to be here for this wisdom rune or this power rune. All right, it didn't happen. Too bad. I had so much more I could have done there. I should have just TP'd sooner too, I think. I was really torn because it's like, oh, if I give Leshrac the power rune, he'll just TP in and like win this fight. But I felt like I needed to stay and hope we got it. In the end, we didn't even get it. That was kind of the idea. to stack this hopefully it doesn't get stolen right away
money. As I know that. I insist. I set my brush. Hmm. This is a tough one. I think maybe we could have... Never mind, never mind. Did she go invis there? I thought she got pushed outside the arena. If she was there, then that's my bad. I should have dusted, but I thought she was outside the arena. I think she like hurricane piked and then ended up on the other side. Guy's hella dead. Okay, we're gonna have to just hold on. We're officially entering being on the back foot <laughs> mindset. And we're just gonna have to hope they eventually commit too hard and Drow gets to like hit people and stuff. Unburdened. Uh, all right, I see you just coming in here with some toxic comments trying to bait a response, but I'm just gonna ban you. Bye. <laughs> But I'll have you know I could keep Kung Fu advice because I did take it as a kid. I'm not saying stereotyping's right, but it is kind of true there. Alright guys, they did it. They committed too hard on Drow and won a fight. Let's go. That was literally the game plan. Oh shit, yes I am. <laughs> she just slides in there and deletes us with the meld strike. And you're a nature's prophet. <laughs> yeah, TA is really good this patch. Ooh. I think we need to do Philosopher's Stone because we're still on the back foot. Eye of the Vizier is tempting though since we took the cast range, or since we took Fine Art. The increased cast range is really good. But we can just buy an Aether Lens or something later. I think we we'll, we gotta take the Philosopher's Stone since we're kind of poor and we're just watching. Glad we TP tier for that. Well now. Um, actually that would overlap with this one a bit. Yeah. 
Thank goodness he messed up his blink. I knew that was risky to do, but like, thank goodness. But that clearly shows I, that was too risky to do, and I should have died there. I really messed up my execution there. Maybe that toxic chatter is right. Maybe I do suck. Oh no. How will I ever recover mentally? Let's get, um... I don't know. I won the cast range because uh, I took Stroke of Fate and I'm just sitting in the back. Ultimately, like I'm just going to defend Drow. We're not at that point yet, but eventually that's all I'm going to do is throw shit on Drow. But until we're at that point... Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe Greaves is better, actually. No one, no one on my team is getting Greaves. Yeah. I'll just get Greaves. That'll also go with sitting behind her and letting her hit things. Lion blinking out is unfortunate. As expected. Is this another hundred gold? This way now. Oh, I should have done the other way. I wish I had an observer to place. This one's on the way, but I think by the time it gets here, I'm going to have to be retreating. Well, maybe not. Okay, he placed one, so that's fine. I don't like my pathing I'm going here. Yep. <laughs> I'm not sure they even saw me, actually. I'm not even sure where that came from. Yo, Tsunami, how you doing, man? Welcome, everybody. I am, uh... <laughs> I'm back from a break of Dota. I've just been moving, so I've been busy. So you're not gonna see the best gameplay, but welcome. You'll see some gameplay. It'll be something. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome. I'm Zach. Nice to meet you. And he's BKB. Yeah, actually probably everyone on my team <laughs> kind of needs it, like the cores. My name is Keith. Hello. Nothing wasted. Um, 
Should probably take that. He's talking to someone, but we have people muted, so I don't know. Don't know who. Been on the raid train for a whole day. Well, if you stick around here for another probably an hour and a half ish, I'll send you on your way to the next destination. <laughs> I missed the Roche timer, but I know it was at night, so I do want to set up top, I think. Memory serves. Tormentor? Okay, so we should be good to come up here. Unless they did our Tormentor, which is, uh... That would be a twist. And then they kill us from behind here? I'd like to go place a ward, like, yeah, okay. over here. So maybe I should have checked up here before doing this because they might have had an observer just watching me. The ink sets. Script of suffering. Roche is up. We'll have to be careful of it. We make it we can maybe do it. They're forward bottom. Yeah, let me take note of it. Someone needs to sit here. Stand up here. Oh, I hit the wrong. Actually maybe that's fine. Maybe I'm giving faster negative armor by boosting that creep. Gee, I'm probably gonna die if they find me, so I'll face this way to soulbind faster. I'm gonna blink on this guy, I'm gonna blink on him. I didn't even get to cast my spell. I think we should have just left. Drow's like not even here. The Leshrac pick was like tempting. Maybe there's a world we get it and get out, but without our carry, I think it was uh, not worth. Easy to say in hindsight. We can win if we lock in. I I, I think we can. Um, it's going to involve them committing too hard, I think, which is why I'm trying to buy all these defensive items and just sit next to Drow. I'll probably go for an E-Blade next. It's for our own protection, it's also cast range, and then we can use it to save people. 6.2 NA is like 1K EU, yes, pretty much. Give or take, like, just a little. Like 5 MMR or something. <laughs> um... What do we want here? Soulbind spell damage. Do we even have that much that doubles? Not really. This is like one of the worst Grimstroke drafts ever. <laughs> the only initiator we have initiates by pushing them away from him. <laughs> oh, man. Um, what the fuck? I still took it because I'm stupid. Because I panicked as I walked into this fight. I grabbed it. I didn't mean to, though. Damn, again, I don't know. The more we think about it, maybe that chatter was right. I am bad. The double sprout. I don't know. Does it even reflect? I don't think it does. Oh, core Leshrac who got the shard. Rare. That's sad. All right, I was trying not to throw extra spells on a BKB target, but unironically, it would have made the difference there. As I planned. This side? How many of these do I want to place? It is a little questionable why they suddenly jumped him, but my only guess is like vision here, or it was just like, I don't even know. It was always What's he got? A paladin sword. Is it because he has 
No, he doesn't have that one. I don't know. Why has he got a Paladin Sword, guys? I guess same reason I took a talent with no spells to double. What's he thinking, TPing right there next to an AoE stun? Oh well. I'm gonna pick up a Venge kill. Oh god, she's got eggs. I gotta say, thank goodness we took Philosopher Stone. Getting money while we sit in the base for the next 20 minutes. Oh no, the remote vacuum's trying to get in here. Let me go turn it off. Just in time. We're back. They don't even know I was gone. Wow, I did not even get time to press a button. Uh, but that's mainly because I'm slow, I think. Whoa, who's that? Thank you. Whoa, whoa. I don't know why I did that. I kind of panic, I guess. I got less track. Can I buy back for the defense? I guess I need to. We need to get something out of this. Go, go, go. That was a bunch of buybacks from us, not from them. So you need to get a lot out of this. But unfortunately, I think we're just going to get a tier two because if they have a fortify, they're going to fortify this. We're going to take it. And then if we try to go for more, they're going to fortify that probably. And I'm happy with my Philosopher's Stone. I'll let someone else take it first. I don't know why I did it while they were fortified, guys. Almost saved him. We'll consider that space. What's this guy doing? I don't know what's happening in this game. You're right, this is 1k EU. Isn't my ghost supposed to like come back to me or something now and not be bugged? I thought they specifically fixed that. We might just win off of that. As we knew, guys, it was easy peasy the whole time. I knew we had it. Not a moment of doubt in my mind. That looked like he gods rebuked the uh, ancient down. That's pretty sick. I we we should not have won that way. 
I will be the first to talk us down. They chain fed like five deaths at the end there. I think more than that. Yeah, my team was doing that too up until that point. So, you know, fair play. But that was like, that was low skill gaming. <laughs> I gotta say for this rank. I don't understand. I don't understand what happened there. Correlation between standing desk and winning. I think you might be right. Quick, we gotta turn it to standing mode. Our in-between game standing. This is, guys, this is, I need to figure this out. When, once I press stand, look, it's taking so long. But if I stand, it's too fast. I just gotta like slowly go with the desk. So you guys won't even know. You guys won't even know what's happening. I'm gonna have to like carry, carry my chair with me. I think Drow is sleeper good, position one in this patch. I don't even remember what her facets are. One second. Let's go check. Tracks and seer. 20 more damage when attacking from higher. Oh, yeah. Even more of a reason to be good while doing that. Uh, grants drown her nearby allies, the bonus agility. Right, right. Okay. Um... I think as long as you have a good matchup, it's okay. Which fortunately we blind picked into Slardar, which made our lane all right. Um, I didn't really use the facet I picked the way I wanted to. And yeah, Slardar still had like a decent time. So a little bit of a slip up on our part and losing some sentries to Venge, just some like slip ups there. After that, I think our itemization was on point. Did I use the items that well? Uh, you know, maybe not. I think our spell casting was also kind of like iffy uh, as a whole, but I think we had all the right items for what we needed to do, which is to like sit behind Drow. I think she's a good pub here as well. You're gonna go standing mode as well? Hell yeah, everyone rise up. Standing mode. I just got the standing desk. It's got, it's nice. I like this. A little bit of a. You've recently joined Standing Desk Gang. Yo, same. I literally built it uh, Monday night into Tuesday. I started assembling. <laughs> I put a timer on myself, guys. The best high ground mode. <laughs> it's so true. So true. I put a. I put a timer on myself foolishly. Monday we did the stream and then I had a coaching and then I ate dinner and then by the time that ended it was like 9 p.m. and the standing desk was here and I was like oh boy like I you know I want to build it but I had a I had a coaching at 12 the next day on Tuesday so I was like I can surely disassemble my current room because I needed to take everything out of the room to put a carpet down that I had bought then bring in the standing desk, build the standing desk, and bring everything in. And I was like, I can do that. And I did it, but it was hard. <laughs> it took a lot longer than I thought to uh, clean the floor, set up the carpet, set everything, figure out where I want to place things, take out all the old stuff, then build the standing desk. And then it was around like 1 a.m. And I had to, I realized I had to screw into the table. And I did a couple. And then I was like, I'm gonna screw up this thousand dollar purchase. I'm gonna like screw through the table. So I'm gonna do the rest in the morning after I've slept. So I I stopped and I woke up at like 8 a.m. the next day to make sure I finished it in time before I needed it. And we made it, we were good. We were good by like an hour, but kind of close, kind of closer than I needed it to be. <laughs> Jupiter, get over here. Oh, maybe he can't get on the desk now that it's in standing mode. Let me go find him. Don't mind me, I kicked the remote vacuum. For all the raiders who stuck around, you get to see the cat. This is Jupiter. His brother Hephaestus is somewhere. Uh, Jupiter's not interested in meeting new people right now. He's, uh... They're still a little shy about the new place. I think that's why they're meowing even more than usual. He's already a meowing cat. But, uh... 
they're not used to the new place we just moved to. So I think anytime someone closes the door and like disappears for a moment, he's like, oh God, I'm alone in a new place. Panic. Why does he sound so upset? Yeah, he just always sounds like that. If he's not, if he's not getting what he wants, he just sounds like he's un unhappy. All right, we can probably do one more game. And then, uh, it's probably cutting it close. Our friends are coming over for dinner. We're gonna celebrate one of their birthdays. So I'm making some food. I gotta make sure all that's ready. Oh, look guys, we can do squats. Oh yeah, look at that, getting the exercise in. Tell us about the new place. Um, so we moved from an apartment to a rental house. Believe it or not, cheaper. That's why we moved out of that apartment. They kept raising the price. So oh, I wanna complain about that. I'm, I'm gonna get back to that. Let me complain about the old apartment in a moment. Um, so the, the place is further out of town, out of Dallas. So driving to some places is a bit more of a hassle. But since we are further out, I think that helped the price for the size. So overall, we like it a lot. There's more bugs outside. My God, I have so many mosquito bites, guys. I haven't had to deal with this in so long. Although it's actually kind of funny because I grew up in North Carolina, which has tons of mosquitoes. And I used to spend more time outside before I found Dota and never left the room again. But I used to deal with being like bitten by bugs all the time. So it's not that big of a deal. But I haven't had to deal with it for years. Uh, just because like where I would live in apartments and stuff didn't have very many mosquitoes. But this new place does have mosquitoes. And I have so many bites because I've been doing some garden stuff because now we have it. Uh, so it's been fun to like put plants outside and all that. But it means I keep getting bitten. And I'm amazed by how annoying it is because it's like, oh, I haven't had to deal with this so long. It's so annoying. And yet at the same time, the old immunity to it of like, oh, yeah, you just have like 15 bug bites on you. It's whatever. Just from growing up with it, I can ignore it so well. I'm surprised. <laughs> Uh, but overall, yeah, we like it. It's got a gas stove. That's cool. I like gas because I want to cook with a wok and it's hard to heat up a wok enough to like properly use it with an electric stove. If you guys didn't know, secret to Asian cooking, I bet that guy would have loved to hear this. Uh, the wok, which is very popular in a lot of Chinese cooking and other Asian cooking, the flavor that is hard to replicate at home is the heat in the wok creating a smoky flavor. Uh, so you need a lot of heat on the metal to get to that point and you should literally just see it like you add oil and it should have like steam not steam but like kind of uh, it should look like it's got smoke coming out um, and then that's how you get the flavor of the wok and that's why if you go up buy Chinese food at the store versus trying to make it at home it's very difficult to replicate the flavor uh, so it's a lot easier to do that with a fire stove not perfect um, compared to like what's at restaurants but I'm excited about that. He's gonna jump again. He's already he's already trying to jump. <laughs> Bummer still in Texas. Yeah, we'll we'll leave at some point. He wants to go. He ain't happy. My girlfriend tried to bring him, but sometimes he's in the mood for hanging out. Other times he's not. You still can't get enough heat on your gas stove for a walk. Yeah, I think it'll be better than an electric, but I know it won't be perfect. I might look into a uh, outside burner, but that's kind of a lot all at once since moving. I'm just trying to like get things unpacked and all that. Oh, okay, let me complain about the apartment, guys. I'm pissed, I'm pissed. I, I went to a wedding so the patch came out, right? I forget what day. Oh, wait, we can check. What day did the patch come out? May 21st. Also, I would like to point out, guys, we don't usually have an A patch. Usually this is the A patch, and then there's a B patch. I found that very, very interesting. And in fact, for my own, for the first time, I almost always type in like, let's say 7.35 right? I type in 7.35 in my like video uh, folder sorting. And then the next one comes out, it's like 7.35B. So I put 7.35B. And then because the first one doesn't have A, it gets confused and puts things out of order. 
So for the first time ever, I put 7.36A when 7.36 came out because I was like, this is the A patch. And then it wasn't. And then actual 7.36A came out and my folder organization was ruined. Anyways, so the patch came out and then I was super busy, right? Because they, they introduced like 500 changes all at once. So I was super busy and my sister's graduation was happening. So we, I was there, I came back, patch time. Then patch A came out, patch time, started casting, had a wedding to go to for one of my oldest friends, my oldest friend that I've known since like pre-K, had a great time, great wedding, all that. No complaints about that. Um, came back into casting into new patch, patch B, right? So just tons going on. In between all that, we were moving. We were packing and getting ready to move to this place, doing all sorts of stuff. So we forgot to pay rent for the first time in two years to our apartment. Um, and they don't, so that's on me, right? I'm not gonna deny that. Oops, we slipped up, we didn't pay rent. We've paid it on time for 23 months in a row. They're immediately gonna charge us a late fee, which I get, it just sucks. But it's so scummy the way they went about it because there's an increasing late fee for every day you miss and they don't tell you. They just increase it. And then after it reaches maximum late fee, they sent us an email to be like, you're late on rent. It's like, thanks for telling me after you've charged me the maximum amount of late fee you can. But I was traveling that day, so I didn't even see the email because um, it also got buried. Yeah, it's corporate. It's corporate owned department. So that's why it's like extra scummy the way they do this heartless. Um, they sent an email over it and it's the same email they use for like random notifications. So it's like the pool is open. Ooh, summer barbecue times are now open. You owe us X hundred dollars for being late. By the way, the, keep your AC. It's like buried in all of that stuff. So I didn't even notice it. And and then I was in the wedding, and then um, I was in, I was literally at the wedding. We were doing like bachelor party stuff, or not bachelor party party. Um, we did that earlier. Um, it was like the the before the wedding, the the groomsmen are taking pictures and whatever, right? So we're doing all that. Then my girlfriend calls, she's like, "Oh, we forgot rent." It's like, "Ah, shoot, right? We forgot." At this point, we were like eight days late or something. So it's like, okay, you know what? We'll, we'll try to do it. They didn't let us do it online because I guess you're late. You have to do like a cashier's check in person. So I was like, okay, that sucks. We'll, we called, that's what we found out. It's like, okay, we'll do it on Monday when we're back. We get back to Texas, check our mail, and there's like a notice to move out. Like, oh, you need to vacate because you didn't pay rent. And it comes like three days after, after the maximum late fee. And then the only reason we found out any of this in the first place is because they called four to five days late like to let us know you still haven't paid rent so the order of operations here for this company is increase the late fee to maximum send an email send a letter a physical letter in the mail telling them to vacate and then phone call a few days after that if you want your money just call me and we'll pay it We've done it on time for 23 months. What are they doing? It pisses me off, not just because like we got charged for it and all this, but like you're being bad at it. You're being inefficient. What are you doing? Why did you send me an email and mail, literal mail in 2024 before just like phone calling and stuff? So I'm so annoyed about that. I'm glad I'm moving. <laughs> Screw this place. <laughs> <laughs> that made the move easier. Otherwise, we liked that apartment and it's like a little sad to go. But like, man, I'm so annoyed about that. Who uses phone calls as the very last one? Like, I don't like getting phone calls. Don't get me wrong. But like, if it's like, shit, you haven't paid your rent, then like, yeah, phone call, email. Let me know like two days after. Hey, warning. We noticed you usually pay on the first of every month, but you didn't do that. Did you know you have to pay rent in case you got anything going on in your life before we start charging you extra money? And I'd be like, oh yeah, here you go, right? So that's irritating. So you're actually forced to vacate? I, I don't know where it's at. 
and this is what annoys me. I don't know legally where it's at because you know they usually ask you like, oh, have you ever been evicted from a place? My friend was saying we haven't been evicted because this is just like the warning to be you're going to have to vacate. And if we didn't vacate, they would have to go go through like legal stuff to to uh, kick us out, evict us. So I don't think it counts as an actual eviction. And the date to a here's the, here's the other crazy part, guys. The date to vacate by is like a week after we've already told them we're moving out. So like, they've known we're gonna move out for over a month, like almost two months now. They've known we're gonna move out. And now they're like, you're not moving out, we're kicking you out. Okay, whatever. Whatever. All right. Pull it all back in. We're Dota players now. <laughs> this Oracle, okay guys. We're going to we're going to channel this into the game now. This Oracle right here, he works at the apartment. He's responsible. We're going to take it out. We're going to take it out on him. Oh shit, offlane Ursa. You're right. Let's uh let's not double down on this one, guys. Oh, who's that? Thank you. Whoa, whoa. Yo, anonymous gifter. Gifting. I, I can't even see you. It's like flying through. I can't even see how many this is. Someone count this for me. Gifting 17 subs. Thank you so much. I should complain about my apartment more. Thank you. That's very kind of you. I appreciate it so much. If you guys got a gifted sub, now you get to see cats during the pauses. Hope you enjoy. Thank you, whoever you are. It's anonymous, so you want to stay a mystery. I appreciate that. I should have placed a mid ward for that guy. Whatever. Better get ready. All right, let's uh predict. Not. Ooh, wait, six streak. Do we put the six streak and the double down on? I'm not gonna put the double down, but do we put the six streak on? Oh shit, I'm supposed to be shikuchiing on Ursa offlane. Yes. It's into faceless void carry too, so like both him and I, we don't have a stun. Faces is just gonna walk away. Yeah, we should be careful about this. I think. Making mistakes is the path to wisdom. I don't have a voice line? Damn. 30 seconds to show time. Scatterling me. Yes. Yes. Okay, if Faceless is hiding here, then they're probably all top. Oh. No, 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 get, get, get the rune, get the rune. And here we go. They feel, that's so weird, guys. He's asking if we want to go, but, like, he can see that three of us went bottom. Like, this is clearly where we were looking to go. <laughs> so it's like, we'll never make it here in time. What's going on there? Did Oracle just ward here? Did I see that? I didn't click in time. Yeah. All right, at least the guy's talking, so... Let's check out this awfully nurse, I guess. Creep and crawl. Oh, I should have hit the faceless with that. He couldn't time walk that extra damage there. Just so annoying, actually. 
I don't even need to do this actually. The never mind. The creeps were not gonna do it for me. I thought they would. Ah, uh, I don't know what I was doing. That should have been my creep. Hmm, I think I want to tank up more in this lane. I'm gonna buy some like cheaper stats. Do we need a spirit vessel? So many dispels. I thought the creeps were going on that wave. That's why I committed. for this and then do a pull. That's what Oracle gets for evicting me. I'm not evicted though, I think. I think it's still just like order vacate. Okay, we don't need to do a pull. Body block. Guys, I didn't have Geminate attack on. Otherwise, that's a kill. Ah, shit. That's so sad. Blood grenade just hit. This guy's a one auto attack from death. Shikuchi in two. Are It's okay, we have wave. I'm not gonna miss a creep. Let me TP first. Your top towers this guy knows his Ursa offlane power spike, guys. Let's do it. Very well. I'm very proud of you. It's 
kind of what I thought. I think he's going to be jungling back here a lot because the lane's getting rough. So I want to be looking for it. I'm coming through the Toon Gate. I'm five years away from actually connecting, though. Get him, bugs. Get him, get him, get him, bugs. Get him, get him, bugs. I gotta get the urn charge. Get him, 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 get Well, I'm very proud of you. Ah, oh, the spear got me. I should have stayed away and then Shikuchi'd in. That might have actually caught them off guard. Oh, well, that's three heroes rotating there for that. I need a bottle refill. I can refill your bottle when I'm up. It's coming, I have silence. A pursuit. I actually don't know what to get here. Dual Sclove? Seems weird, but it's kind of okay. Them dire buildings are tough as nails for now. Making mistakes is the path to wisdom. If he time walks, I think we can kill him. Radiance toughened up their structures. Uh, damn. Caught in your own life's thread. Yeah, I was gonna walk this way, but it would mean the creeps push in and he gets to farm for free, so I'm gonna do this instead. Mega kill. I can TP. Oh shit. Calculated. Storm's coming, storm's coming, storm's coming. I swear this guy's had a, that pink arcane aura for ages. I think I missed so many of them guys. I missed the bug so heavily there. Alright, 
Alright, so far so good. Nice. Spirit vessel done. Nice job, guys. The other fellow's top tower had a little accident. My oh, one bottom tower. I must. Knife and spools. Creep and claw. Uh, may I have a so, rune? May I have a rune, please? And a ticket? Give me, give me, please. I need to go, go. I don't have to go home. Please. Please. <laughs> Sometimes you ask, but you do not receive, guys. Thinking about the Atos, but they already have a Dispel, so maybe just like Solar Crest would be good for my team. No, wait. Ooh, guys, what about a Yules? Yules could be really cool because I could just lift up Oracle before... Oracle can try to save people. I think that could be kind of cool. Hmm. I'm gonna think about this. I am still pretty squishy, so something else to help boost my overall health pool could be nice. Maybe I could get like a casual bracer or fluffy hat prior to the Yules. Why did he time walk? All he had to do is keep walking, and I think he's good. He felt the pressure. All right, I'm going to YOLO it, guys. Let's hope the tier two gives us a uh, some kind of item. Uh, do you want to try to do Roche really early? I don't know what you can do. <laughs> you can take it pretty easy when it goes top. I'm going to TP. Go Roche or so. Oh, oh. I'm gonna go watch for the enemies. I doubt they're here to make a play, but Mark Lincoln. He was just a little late on that, but I think they knew that was happening. I am compelled. It's kind of hard for me to play from that left side as Weaver. I think I might move over here. End mid. Perhaps we should have believed in the uh, the Ursa offlane. Think they get the picture? Yes. Godlike owners. Scatterling in.
silence him from Invis. Trying to like poke through it and stuff. Maybe I needed to apply Spirit Vessel again there. Oh well. A moment of silence for the Dyer's courier. Yes. Damn, these creeps move faster than I thought. Ah, oops. Let's uh, push mid. They seem to be done, but you guys know how many times we've been burned on that. I say as I continue to zip through all the way back here. I should have done this the other direction actually to uh, scout. Maybe I'll buy a casual blightstone for pushing faster. Yeah, they're starting to show all over the place. Weaver's Ag's cast range is the same as Chrono. Could be pretty good. <laughs> oh no! Oh, he totally doesn't have the damage, guys. Oh no, the echo! All right, everything used bottom. <laughs> Damn. I was right though, he didn't have the damage. I'm going greedy based on this game. Also, because we just finished the Yules, which means I can buy my tank items now, and I think it's fine. Um, yeah, I guess, so I guess Aghanims would be like a pretty good item purchase here in a normal game. I'm debating if I go greedy in a game like this. I was thinking about if I should be Yulesing at any point there, but I felt like we had the chase ability, so if I Yules by the time he drops, he has like the time walk again. So I wanted to try to catch up to like where he would be and then Yules right away or something. That might be okay. I'm gonna get a casual Blightstone for how this game's going. I get a Dagon. <laughs> um, versus Oracle, it's probably not worth, but boy, is it tempting now that you've brought it up.
Alright, there should be no Chrono or Echo, so this is sort of okay, I think. I think we just sit behind this Shadow Fiend. I wish I had faster reaction times. Alright. G mid, please. Alright, buddy. You literally just tried to win with the play there. Let me ask them to end, then try to win, and if I don't win off my play, I'll still be like, please end. The worst. The worst! <laughs> Clock's got a bone to pick. Meow. <laughs> Okay, well, look, look, guys. Oh, I see, there's more I missed. This part, this is fine. Like, I'm not saying you should flame, but if you're gonna flame, this is fine. Then this part, this is now wrong. You can simply flame people for being bad. Simply flame them for being bad. Every region has like an issue with another region. So like in the US NA servers, um, Peruvian players are like the focus of it. In EU servers, it's like the Russian players, right? Like every server has like, these guys don't belong in my server mentality. And anytime there's a player they don't like, they'll blame them as if they're a player from there. I And it's so stupid, cause it doesn't even matter. But like you'll literally have two American players just flaming each other, calling each other like racist slurs about races that they're not. They're like the whitest people possible and you can tell by the way they talk and everything. Not that you should stereotype like that, but like, you know, it, it happens so much. It's such mindless racism. They just want an outlet for being angry and it's so dumb. Just blame people if they're bad at Dota if you can't control it. Like you can't help yourself, you're shit. You can't last hit. You don't know how to read a map. That's it. You just leave it at that. You don't need to go any further. And your cosmetics are bad. Like, boom. Heart. In the heart. You're dead. You're dead. Um, Pretty good team coordination, I would say. Is this what I want? Do I want more offlane nerfs in my games? I think it's fine. He communicated. I'm all for it, you know. <laughs> it worked out. I specifically like that he said at level three, we can kill, right? That's that's all you need. That's all all you need. Simple communication to let you know how your weird pick works or even your normal pick. This is what I want. Just get by till Ring of Health, right? Stuff like that. That's the kind of communication I want in my games, more so than the weird picks, <laughs> but that part's fine. Don't go on the cosmetic. Okay, my bad, my bad. Maybe that's a little too hard. It's a little too hard. Oh, damn, look at us. Look at us. We only played three games today so far? That's crazy. I thought it was more. I guess game one was really long. Um, three twenty four. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna do it. Send it immediately. As long as the game doesn't go super late, we've got this. Pingwheel auto-translates. Yeah, pingwheel auto-translates. 
But, like, here's the thing. You can just play silently. Like, I understand language barrier is definitely a struggle. Um, hey, we got our number back. Look at that. Uh, so what is it? Like, 6.3 is for uh, an, a number in NA now? Wow. Standing desk. Oh, shit. You're right. It's the standing desk power-up. Let's get up. Look, oh, wait. I got a match. You don't even know. You think the desk is stationary. I'm actually still just sitting. I'm still just sitting. You guys don't even know. Just kidding. I'm standing now. Ha ha. Oh, you've been standing this whole time? Damn. Can I play like this? It feels a little weird. Also, one of the wires is a little strained. My, uh... Well, I guess not too bad. Places, everyone. It's too tall up here. I'm getting lightheaded. There's not enough oxygen up here. I think I gotta sit when I play. My huge Dota brain is trying to use too much oxygen. It's just not, there's not enough oxygen concentration this high up in the air. We'll probably do replays. I'll probably try to do some replay analyses with the, uh, the standing desk and we'll go from there. Jokes aside, I do feel like it feels weird standing and playing. And I don't think I'm used to it. So uh, I might do it in the future. I could definitely see us playing other games. Like when we do our variety streams, I, I would definitely mix in like some hours. I don't know how long, but you know, every now and then like stand for a bit, sit for a bit. I'll do that. For playing Dota, probably just standing in between is good. Need to jog in place. You know what's so funny? So flex a spot, again, not sponsored, but when I was shopping for the desk, they offered some, so first of all, there was like July 4th sale, flash sale, whatever. Not July 4th, what am I saying? Um, Father's Day, Father's Day sale, blah, blah, blah. I saw like all sorts of sales on their their site. Um, so there's that. And then after you buy the desk, there's also like, oh, if you buy this plus this combo, combo sale. So some stuff I didn't expect them to sell, like um, reclining chairs, but it kind of made sense. It's like, okay, maybe the chair, like up, down, whatever, right? Um, but then some of their combos were were like um, a bicycle, like a, an exercise bike, or a treadmill that's just the walking part. So you could walk at your standing desk. And I was like, okay, okay, those make sense. You know, I'm not going to buy those right now, but I can see why. And then some were just so funny. Some was like, how about a hand-pulled cart? You're like, why? What combo is this? Five seconds. Uh, I currently have no stuns on my team. And I don't think I want any. No, no, no. Wait, let's think this through. The witch doctor. We are going to experience the witch doctor. And it could be, I don't know, one of these is position four, one's position five. Who knows? I want to be Weaver, though. The synergy is so sick. Look, more no stuns, though. Can I really? Can I be part of the problem? Hell yeah. Team no stun, negative armor. Let's do it. I'll buy an Atos first, guys. <laughs> I'll buy an Atos. Yo, maybe it's Witch Doctor offlane. Or maybe it's Pango offlane makes the most sense now, meta wise, plus like, I don't know, Lion mid or some shit. There's a Bloodseeker now. Ew. Do I need a stick? If it was Lion 4, I would want a stick. Witch Doctor, it's like not really. Oh, I don't know. Oh, 
Yeah, literally. We got one. We got the uh, Legion Duel. We got SF Alt Fear. And we have Bounty Hunter Invis Hit. That's all we got. That's all we need. This guy's Goku. Oh, well, we've got this. Yes. Not ready. Let's pretend to ward. Cut and weave. I don't know why I flopped that one. The sentry could have just stayed. The now they'll know it was a mind game. Victory is assured. This one is in the bag. Scatalini. Or is he saying hello, I am Goku? Or he's like, it's like hello, soy Goku. Like, what do they, what do they call him? Like soy. They use that as an adjective nowadays. I don't know. I can't keep up with the lingo. Six win streak. No stuns. Easy. I'm not going to double down, though. I'm not feeling that. See if Jakira tries to walk. We can maybe we can maybe get someone if they walk. Yeah, she should have saved his stun for that, but uh, that's okay. We just took out like all his health. That's pretty worth. Okay, we gotta deal with bullshit, bullshit witch doctor here, who started Maledict actually. Oh my god, he flew. I'm gonna buy like a salve or something. I don't want to Geminate attack the uh, Pango shield. That's like a waste. Man, how long does this thing last? Creep and crawl. Someone took out the radiant superior. I am compelled. Ah, oh, I should have been getting that range creep. Your life and spools. Shut off. I'm so I've been pretty bad about securing the range creep today. You better be careful of being walked at. Oh, he's like really coming up here. I it's like battle of broken supports. An eye on that crease. All right, they have a sentry in the lane. He saw me trying to come back in to clip him before I attack. Lotus is coming up. That's fine. We got the kill first, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Hmm. Do I? 
rush earned, I build something else? I definitely TP in. Oh, I meant to buy that one faster. I gotta be careful. I know they have it here. I feel like he wants to bait me in. Cut and weave. I think I only hit one. Shikuchi was just about to come up. I don't know. We can't. That's too strong. It's too strong. We wanted to experience what it was like, guys. Well, here it is. It's too strong. Eating me up. Sweet. Oh, yeah, let's go. Dodge that. All right, we should be okay. We'll live through this. Oh, shit. Let me make sure no one else is building us. Okay. Try to steal the wisdom rune. Wisdom runes. Are you kidding me? He reacted to that? I think I'm dead. <laughs> Damn. We've wasted some blood grenades like that. His burst heal caught me off guard. I thought between the ancients and me, I could kill him, but... Ah, oh well. At least we stole the wisdom rune, right? Yeah, so that part was a success. I should coochie like way too soon. 
But fortunately, we have the Amplified Damage. Otherwise, we don't get that kill. I'm sure my cores won't mind that I just left the partially farmed camp there. Pick sooner, I might have lived. Get the last hit before I go. Um, I maybe need to get Seeds of Serenity, but I couldn't decide between damage and health in that moment. Um, if I take in Seeds of Serenity, I'm pretty sure I live. But Duelist Gloves and like Lancer Pursuit are both pretty good. What do I need to provide to my team this game? I'm gonna take Seeds of Serenity. I thought like, oh, I have urn, like that's the heal, but it's also a blood seeker, so. Can't risk him getting away. I wanted to give the duel, but What's going on over here. Nice. All right, that's kind of worth it. bought ours first though right because we check unfortunate should we let him finish it no he sold it okay Damn. 
literally as I pressed it, I got finished off by the swashbuckle. here so I guess I'll cut in two although there's like a lot of people here so okay okay Shit. Yes. <laughs> oh, man, that should have been a blood seeker kill. Instead I bait myself into getting killed. Damn. He's got a shadow blade. Alright, we've been avenged. Someone finally did it. I think these like really scrappy back and forth fights favor us because uh, we have the bounty. Ah, eh, whatever. I'll leave one creep there. Your mid tower needs a little help. The other fellow's bottom tower, nothing but fragments now. Shit, there's a sh oh, literally in the cast animation. There's a lion there, guys. The old shadow blade lion. That's gonna be annoying. After Atos, I might go Lotus or Lincoln's for myself and my team. Hey, you like the classical music? Thank you. We uh, we switch it up. It's usually some kind of like lo-fi. But sometimes we listen to music, uh, like worded music I like. Otherwise, I find it kind of distracting. But sometimes I'm in the mood for it. And then other times, I like classical. Let's see, does she have a way to initiate? Not quite. Oh my god, I whiffed so hard on three of them. I hit one person with that swarm.
<laughs> well, that was a disaster. Oh, maybe SF making it less of a disaster? I was trying to set up the bait for my team. Alas. I might do a shard first if my team doesn't do Roche or do Tormentor. Oh, we're snowballing. Uh oh. Get away from me. Lifesteer's not very strong until he gets his Radiance. We're in that, like, down period time where we just gotta, like, wait for that. Any Radiance Tormentor fans, I mean? Guess not. that to finish the radiance I must Scatterling in Oh, it's a tier 2. We'll keep yes. his backpack for heal, please. Please do this tormentor. I don't want to buy this. Oh, didn't stack. If we get the shard from this, we're really set up for a good... Yes! Alright, this will help our farm speed a bunch. So now I'm thinking about Lincolns or Lotus, like straight up. We can also just do this. We don't have to force find a kill. Yes. That was a disaster, guys. Or should we just done Roche? <laughs> Maybe I need... Do I need a way to cancel the uh, Witch Doctor ult? We don't have many stuns. Atos doesn't actually do it. 
All right, actually, my team cleaned up. That one ended, ended up better than expected. Ah, shit, you're right. I had wand. Oops. But he's got an orchid. I could do what? Yules? I got the shard though. I feel like I should lean into the damage. Especially because Lion's gonna have some silly scaling with the, his shit. I could go straight for Gleipnir. But how much do I really need a Gleipnir? I guess it's like kinda good. Oh, I thought it was Shikuchi. Oops. Guys, the, the Gleipnir is becoming more and more tempting as we keep losing these fights. Actually, no, I can't fight this mid, so I should go top, but looks like Lion's already there. Yes. A golden blade. I can't believe that made it all the way over. I need to use directional movement for that more. I don't really understand that fight. I'm being a bit greedy pushing top, but like, they don't need to push that hard to find something. Okay, we're definitely, <laughs> I think we definitely need some scaling ourselves up here. Uh-oh, I did not leave fast enough. I think we're okay though. Oh shit, I'm in Yule. Thank you for the raid. One second. I'm dying. <laughs> Leave me alone. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Oh shit. They're going to see the swarm attack. Okay. Now they know I went that way. Now we actually go this way. Ho 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 ho. Alright. It's fine. Paranormality. Thank you. Welcome. Um, I'm panicking. I don't know what to buy. I must. Your top tower's in trouble. Cut and weed. I'm getting Gleibner. Use the courier to pick up the gem, but I don't know if he has the uh, mental capacity for that right now. I 
don't know where Lion is. I'm getting scared. I should leave. Yes. Roche will be coming down soon. I should maybe set up for that. I am compelled. That's where we started throwing. We never even yes. did Roche in the end. When it comes down here, though, I think we should. Is this... This can't be the same one from the very start of laning. That can't be it. Is that the same, same guy? Lions here. Cut and weave. Payback. Yes. They're doing Roche right now. I made that call literally just in time. Let's see if we can get Jakiro's courier. The button, <laughs> because I dropped it, it moved to a new button. I wasn't ready for that. Uh, you know, maybe the Geminate attack armor would have been good this game with my with the with the draft. I, I regret that a little bit, but the deed is done. So what can you do? doing here. Okay, we're back to just farming and scaling. That's why we took this Geminate talent. <laughs> it's the, uh... We at least got like one lane, so we got that going for us I don't know where they are I'm scared I think we lost the gem again like right away
just in time to spawn that camp. Should I buy out Lincolns? I didn't spirit vessel during a lot of this fight. This is exactly why I started going top. Like, there's no way we can trust our team not to throw. Ah, and I came in through with them. I should just stay top taking this. What is going on, man? What is going on? If we just go top, we kill this tower, and maybe we don't get this, but we do the rest um, later. For example, after Roche. Mm, do we get the eggs? Do we just continue scaling? We get a BKB to ignore quite a lot. We have two racks. Um, mid. What do we have? We fortified. Hmm. Alright, we'll lose one lane, but that should be fine. They're dead. That's really bad. Did they just like run into Witch Doctor ult? Is that what happened?
I don't know what's happening, guys. We're just gonna pray. What do I need? What do I need to win? A BKB? A Lotus? Ags to save people? This is good. Oh god. Extra geminate attack. I'm a little torn on that one, but... I don't know about pushing, guys. I would love to just... I would love to not do whatever this is I'm looking at right now. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, plot flyer, thank you. Um, we're gonna have to creep cut, I think. Maybe lions being left to defend. No, maybe I should wait for Roche. I should position around Roche. I feel like I have too many defensive items because now I need a BKB to fight, but I, I like don't do enough damage at this point. All right, they're doing Roche. It's probably too late to get there. Let's try to push out this lane. Go get the rune. to my buyback four minutes okay i wish i could get a deep ward somewhere in there if i know how safe it is to push Kira was here, I should have stuck on him. Uh, I feel like I botched that initiation a little bit. I think instead of Lotus, I should have gotten, uh, BKB. Oh, shit. I've not been paying attention to this. Ooh. Ancient Guardian? We ratting? 
Or with this amount of crowd control, having some status resistance to actually use our stuff is really good. I think we need some damage though. We have so many defensive items. What is SF doing over there? Psycho mode stuff. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be running around with a gem like this. I want to cut top, but this is, yeah, we keep getting shit like this. I, I just don't know. <laughs> yeah. They don't know how the banner works. Fantastic. So we're trying to fight without the uh, the heroes. Oh yeah, Spirit Vessel. Oh shit, no buyback, damn. extra damage here. My goodness. I am focused gamer. There's Tom Foolery over here.
throw on high ground so they come and throw on high ground. Yeah, we had it in the bag the whole time. Man, there was so many, so many weird stuff. Ugh. Oh yeah, nice. MVP, let's go. Let's use some of our tokens. What were we? We were in the uh, safe lane. Yeah, it was pretty hard laning into Witch Doctor. After the laning stage, you don't feel it as much, the Voodoo Festeration, but the start of the lane is really tough. I think you need Burst. Because Witch Doctor needs time for the Voodoo Restoration to be value. So if you have a lot of Burst damage, like Dawnbreaker, Primal Beast type heroes, I think you can probably deal with it. But any kind of like extended trades are super annoying. This game, I think the Lotus, I probably just didn't use it well, but I think the Lotus was not worth it. I should have gone like just straight BKB into damage. The power of the standing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Recharge the power. That was probably the end of the game or the end of the stream. We'll just uh, do some recap stuff here, but I gotta go. Gotta go prep for some stuff. A little bit of a short stream today, but we will. We'll be back at it on probably Friday. Yeah, I think so. Check out the OG Nigma game three. Is it still going right now? Or is it just the, uh, like you mean it was a great game so go check it out. Yo, look at that. We are gaining MMR for the first time in ages. Playing without sound or playing without glasses, which is a bigger disadvantage? All right, let me tell you something about my vision and then you can answer this for yourself. <laughs> How can I describe this? So growing up, I don't know when my vision started to be bad, but I was, I was self-conscious about wearing glasses as a kid. So I didn't want to wear them for a long time. And you know, uh, I grew up with like uh, whiteboards. We didn't have, we were already past chalkboards at that time, except for later when I went back to college, ironically, the tech went backwards. But uh, the whiteboard, you know, so they got all the different colored markers. A lot of them aren't very good, though. Uh, that's a classic, right? There's only ever one good marker in a classroom and all the rest are shit. The whiteboard is just white to me. If I'm in the back of the classroom, I cannot see anything. It's not, it's not blurry. It's not there. I can't even tell things are written on the whiteboard. So I have to sit at the front of the classroom until I eventually got glasses. And then it was like, oh my God, I can see. You can tell there are leaves on a tree, right? I think it was around seventh or sixth grade where I got contacts because I was just like, well, I got glasses and contacts, but I didn't want to wear glasses at school. So I wore contacts. Eventually in high school, I stopped giving a shit. And then I just wore glasses. And I've kind of like done that for the rest of my life. Um, my eyesight is so bad without my eyesight. Okay. I'm standing, where's my measuring tape? It's somewhere in the, the apartment. I can't even, where's the top bar of this even end so I can move this out of the way. I can see green and red. I cannot make out win or loss. It's just a green dot to me. Um, can't read anything. There's nothing I can read on here. This, this whole thing is like a red a red block. I can't even tell there's like, if I squint, I can see it's the Dota logo. Uh, there's, these are numbers, I guess my own name, probably the largest text on here. 
because I know it's my name, I kind of know that's like a Z and a Q, but otherwise it's mostly just white. This is almost just a yellow bar to me. There's a, a very faint white blur in the middle. Otherwise, this is just like a yellow bar to me. <laughs> so I don't think I'd be able to play <laughs> without, without glasses on. And I, I, I would make do without sound. But sound is a big issue. Sound's a big part of Dota. Am I cross-eyed? I don't think so. I am 29, turning 30 later this year. Yeah, thank, thank goodness for glasses, technology, contacts. Now iPhones zooming in to see further. Dude, imagine living in a time when you can't have that. It's so tough. It's so tough. All right, we had a ton of raids today. Let's pass on the love. Let's go see who can we raid. Um, if you came in with any of the raids, you had a good time. I'm glad. Feel free to drop by again anytime. I tend to stream on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you're just here on the one-off, I understand. Uh, there's also a YouTube channel. We do support content. If you're interested in that, no pressure. Hmm. Where shall we go? Where shall we go? Eyes like an eagle. <laughs> My sister, she has a roommate that their eyesight is so good. I can't, I can't comprehend this. My eyesight has been bad my entire life. Mine's not even the worst of my siblings. My siblings have even worse eye. Uh, my younger sister has better eyesight by a little bit. My older sister has like way worse than me. My dad's worse than me. I, I never heard of this. I have friends who have like 20-20 vision and it's like, okay, you, you know, lucky you, whatever. My sister's roommate has vision that is so good. It is so above 20-20 that it will give her headaches. She wears glasses that reduces her vision and I cannot comprehend that whatsoever because otherwise they get headaches from how good their vision is. <laughs> That's insane to me. My eyesight is so garbage <laughs> compared to that. I think on the scale, I don't know if uh, around the world the scale is the same, but um, here in the US, it's like negative six, something like that. Negative five, negative six plus. I don't remember. Uh, the OG, is it still, it's done, right? We might watch it next time. I got to stop soon here. We're just like wrapping up, having some fun. But I got to go prep. Our friends are coming over for dinner. It's going to be like a birthday thing. And they also watched our cats while we were traveling. So like, you know, all that. So I want to make sure we're making some nice food. Wait, ads are about to play. How do I How do I skip the ads? Uh, I don't know. I can't snooze it. My options are not there. Damn. All right, maybe we'll check it out on Friday. Here, let's go. Actually, he's in the UK. He's probably he's probably almost done. Well, that'll be funny then. All the all the raids that came to us, we can pass it on. All right, let's go raid. Uh, here, I will see you guys on Friday. I know there haven't been YouTube videos. I'll probably do a tier list soonish. I think we're getting to that point. We can do a a uh, tier list for the new patch and all the facets and all that. Thanks for hanging out today, guys. We'll play more on Friday. Have a good rest of your week. Soccer or Dota? Well, I'm here being a Dota streamer, not a not a soccer one, so <laughs> that answers that. Okay, I'll see you guys later.